you know, there was a moment when I thought that I was the last Leninist in the world. In difficult times, there is a real test of a person. See, anybody can be revolutionary when the situation is revolutionary. Anybody can be revolutionary. It's more difficult to be revolutionary when the conditions are not revolutionary. When people are filled with reformist ideas and reformist illusions. There was this impression that Marxism was dead, socialism was dead, and by extension communist parties um, were dead as well. And in fact, we know that some communist parties actually did disappear. You can't kill an idea. And the idea of people having a society in which the means of production are not owned by a parasitic class, that idea is uh, you can't kill it. A lot of us came out, you know, kind of battle-scarred. May suffer defeat, setback, but ultimately, in the competition between capitalism and socialism, ultimately, socialism will win. Well, we live at a, a moment in human history when it's quite clear capitalism has absolutely nothing left to offer the people of this planet. This is a class war! Change is definitely in the air. You might say that we were a little bit ahead of our time. The party has a real history of struggle in this country. We are a revolutionary party striving to win the people of this country for socialism. I remember very well going to my party club and meeting comrades, uh, some of whom were in the Mackenzie Papineau brigades fighting against fascism in Spain. Uh, people who uh, were in the, the forefront of uh, building the trade union movement. When I think back on my life in the party, it just seems like a blur. We were involved in so many things, almost every major campaign. When I joined the Communist Party of Canada in 1959, the Cold War was in full state. Taking our country out of the camp of imperialist war and fitting it into the camp of peace and progress towards socialism. I feel I've never been anything but a member of the Communist Party. I believe in socialism, and I believe that when you attain socialism, you should defend socialism. A movement that isn't just through time, and our party has a hundred years, and I'm part of that hundred years, and that's what feels significant to me, is this connectivity to, to history, but also through space. You know, it's not just a rhetorical slogan to say that we really are an internationalist movement, that we are one large family worldwide. My roots are in India, my head is in Canada, but my heart is in Cuba. Jim uh, uh, continued the fight for national liberation for the indigenous peoples right up to the end of his life in the late 1960s. Uh, he's an inspiration for all of us who have Métis families in our backgrounds and uh, uh, for all party members, in fact, that we've been in this struggle for almost our entire century. I was infused with that worldview, you know, like which class do you belong to? And there was quite a campaign, quite a campaign. Someone asked me, why are you running? Uh, is it to raise issues or do you want to get elected? And I said, I want to be elected. The party has made it possible for me to follow my star. That is to say, to devote my life to work for my ideal, for socialism. And how many people have an opportunity to give every day of their lives to work for something they believe in? I'm, I'm telling you that it's the, it's the party of the future. It's the only party that they can actually save the world, in my opinion.